Hey, this is Brian with WorshipTutorials.com. This is a tutorial for the song Overcome by Elevation Worship on acoustic guitar. On the album, this song is in the key of A from the There is a Cloud album. I'm gonna do this in the video that I made, the acoustic video, uh, I'm gonna do it in the key of G. So we're just gonna use open G chords. If you wanna play along with the album, all you need to do is take a capo, put it on the second fret, and you'll be in the key of A. There's a link below this video where you can go to the Worship Tutorials website and see all the resources we have for this song. Of chord diagrams there, uh, link to the, um, you can see the acoustic video that I made, uh, a link to where you can get the charts from Elevation for free. Those charts are gonna be in the key of A though, so if you want these key of G uh, chords or charts, you just have to transcribe them down. The chords in this song are the four basic chords that you do in the key of G. It would be G, C, D, and E minor, and that's it. So it's 4-4 four, four time, about 80 BPM, and the strumming pattern is gonna sound like this. Okay? Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, one, two, three, four. I'll slow it down. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, one, two, three, four. All right, so the intro of this song, and basically the first verse as well, goes G, two, three, D on the fourth beat, to C, two, three. Again, G, D, C. When you strum it, it sounds like this. Let's just go straight into the verse. It goes G. Now the darkness fades. C. So D to C. Into new beginnings. G. As we lift our D eyes to the hope. C beyond. Back to G. All creation D waits to C. With an expectation. G. To declare the D reign of the C. Lord our God. So I'm gonna sing that for you, show you how it all fits together, starting with the intro. You do it twice, again, G. All right, here's the verse. Now the darkness fades into new beginnings as we lift our eyes to the hope beyond. All creation waits with an expectation to declare the reign of the Lord our God. Into the chorus, which is C, we will not be moved, G. When the earth gives D way, C. For the risen one is G, overcome, E minor, C. And for every fear, G. There's an empty D grave, C. For the risen one is G overcome. And then at the end of the chorus, you're straight into verse two, and I'll show you how that goes as well. So here's the last line of the first verse into the chorus. To declare the reign of the Lord our God. Chorus. the silence breaks. So you can see from the chorus, you go straight into verse two. Verse two is the same as verse one as far as its chord structure. And then you do the chorus again, same thing. And at the end of the second chorus, uh, for the risen one is overcome. There is like a solo kind of turnaround section. And that section and the bridge as well, it's all the same chord progression as G. C, E minor, back to C. 
And then the bridge is the same way. So on the G, he shall reign forever see strongholds now surrendered E minor for the Lord our God has seen overcome G who can be against us see Jesus our defender he E minor is Lord and he has seen overcome you do the bridge a few times and then at the end of the bridge you come into uh, another chorus we will not be moved, G, when the earth gives way. I believe it's exactly the same. Yes, yeah, the same as the other choruses. Okay, so uh, coming out of the second time through the chorus. For the reason one has overcome. Here's the solo. G to C. E minor. Back to C. And here's the bridge. I'm just gonna do it once. And he shall reign forever. Strongholds now surrendered for the Lord. Our God has overcome. Who can be against us? Jesus, our defender. He is Lord. And he has overcome. So you do it twice, uh, kind of build the second time. After you get out of the second bridge, you go back to the chorus. It's actually, a, it's a, everything kind of drops. We will not be moved when the earth gives way. And so you do the chorus twice there. You sort of build into the second chorus and then you finish with the outro. And the outro kind of is the same as the first half of the chorus, so C. D, back to a G, sorry, a C to a G. So I'll show you how you finish it. Uh, and for every fear, it's the end of the chorus, there's an empty grave. Before the risen one is overcome. Outro. End it on the one on the G. That's it, Overcome, a uh, pretty simple song, just four chords, you know, and a plan, which is like most worship songs. Uh, but we've been doing this song in my church for a little while now, and it's a really great, sort of like a mid-tempo. You can use it, you know, you could use it as an opener if you wanted to, because you can, it's got some energy. But it's a great song if you wanna like uh, take your energy from like a high energy opener to more of a like a, a more introspective time of service. You know, you can use this as sort of a bridge as far as energy goes. It's also a great declaration to make, uh, you know, as a church, as a, a body of worshipers, the risen one is overcome. My, the, my favorite line in this song, I think probably most people's favorite line is just a really good one. For every fear, there's an empty grave. Just a great thing to sing and think about um, as a church. Again, hit the links below uh, to head to Worship Tutorials. There's gonna be links around here to subscribe, probably over here or here. There's probably a video here to watch uh, the acoustic version of this song. See you next time, bye.